<laughs> guys, welcome back. So yet another update for you guys. I'm sorry to be disrupting my own channel. No, I'm not. Um, anyhow, um, I didn't tell you guys I've been suffering in silence because, you know, we've been having so much pressure on the channel. I didn't want to mention anything, but I had a doctor's appointment today. Turns out I don't have cancer on my hand, which is good. And turns out that I didn't die from getting my COVID shot. I was, I was, my anxiety and my depression and my fear and my phobias and the needles, it was all the perfect storm. Um, but, you know, I told her, oh, I have all these disabilities and stuff and I really can't get around. She's like, hey, we have it right here. So I got COVID in one arm, flew in the other, and then they did all these blood tests on me. I'm terrified of needles. I mean, I would rather go do guard dog training without a suit and go go play with needles. But I just, you know, kind of relaxed. And she gave me the COVID shot. And I'm like, it's such a beautiful world. It's funny now, but it wasn't funny then. I told the doctor, I said, oh, I'm genuinely terrified of anaphylactic shock. I said, I know it's anxiety disorder. I know that's not logical, but you can't argue with your anxiety. Um, you cannot talk it down. The more you try to argue with your anxiety using logic and reason, the higher up the anxiety tree it goes. So I'm I'm fine. I'm alive. Um, got that done. So I just figured I would let you guys know I'm going to probably be a lot calmer now. And, you know, you should get that done. Um, you know, it's it's not only for you. It helps you not be in the emergency room if you do get COVID. But it's also for other people. I mean, I was, I had to take a bus over. I was with another person that way. I was in a building full of people. I came back, you know, um, washing your hands like crazy and all the sanitizer. I probably have no skin left. It's, it's something you should do. It's something you should do. I mean, obviously talk to your doctor, but it's something you should do. So I finally got it done. I'm alive. I'm fine. Even with all my fibro and everything else. And she looked at all my charts. She's like, you're good to go. Of course, talk to your doctor. But if you're dragging your feet, I went down a ton. I'm fine. I'm alive. Um, so we hope you guys are having a pleasant one. I, I truly thought I was going to drop over dead from anaphylactic shock. I told her I was scared because my old doctor scared me about getting shots and everything. Like, oh, you're the canary in the coal mine. And if there's side effects, you're going to have it. And she's, she didn't say it, but she's like, that's not much of a doctor. She didn't say it, but you could tell by the look on her face that she wanted to hit my doctor. I told them, um, you know, I, you guys know I've had a couple strokes. And she's like, well, what, what care did you get? None. What? <laughs> and then the whole staff was like, what do you mean they didn't give a stroke patient care? And I'm like, I'm supposed to get it? And they're like, yes. So, you know, I will be going to the doctors off and on throughout you know, more often now, because I finally found one that will actually listen. But if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, I'm so happy to be alive. I tried to get pizza for Loki, and um, I think they actually closed the local uh, Fox's Pizza. Oh, <laughs> that was his favorite. I guess I could call another one, see if they would deliver, but I don't know. But, you know, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.